Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be starting a new quilting journey and we're going to be working on the Armadillos quilt by Elizabeth Hartman. So I purchased this quilting kit by myself from fatquartershop.com and I'll link that down below for you if you're interested in purchasing the quilt kit as well as you can just get the quilt pattern and you don't have to get the quilt kit and you can get your own fabric and do your own designs of the armadillos in the background and everything but personally I wanted something nice quick easy already put together for me and I love the look of Elizabeth Hartman's quilts I am sure that if I chose fabric and everything it would look beautiful as well because her designs are just so fun and interesting. I have never done an Elizabeth Hartman quilt and so I'm excited to start this one. So let's jump into it. I'm going to start by opening this quilt up, looking at the fabric, and then we're going to iron and get started. So here we go. Okay everyone, so I was really excited to open up this quilt kit. I love how Fat Quarter Shop since all of their fabrics they're always really well packaged and in i feel like reusable containers so the first thing that i did was open up the pattern by elizabeth hartman and flip through it has patterns for both a pillow small quilt and a large quilt the initial fabric was the background fabric followed by the border fabric and then each of these pieces are for the armadillo um, there is a large piece on the top that goes for the eyes, which is the darker fabric, and then you have the individual ones. Now, I will tell you that they actually packaged this with all of the armadillo quilt fabric together. In my excitement, I kind of opened everything up and just went through it all, so excited to look at it that I kind of jumbled everything up and had to kind of figure out how everything actually went together again. The best, the way that I did this was looking at the front of the actual pattern. I would have been in a world of hurt if I hadn't done this. Um, and so I was able to look at the pattern and see which colors went with which armadillo. And this is Robert Kaufman's Kona Solids line as well as Linen Blend. Um, these are, that is the eye pattern. And then all of these are associated with the little feet on, a, on the armadillos. So here's where I realized what actually went together and decided I should probably keep all of these together rather than just having them all laying around. It would make it easier for whatever I actually went to quilting. So I'm going to go ahead and organize these quilt fabrics back to where they need to be and then we'll get started on cutting them. Okay everyone, so I'm working on the first set of armadillos. I'm doing the pink armadillos this time around, so this color um, armadillo, and there are a lot of blocks to cut, so I'm working on subcutting the light armadillo fabric right now and keeping that organized. I have been using these little stickers. I actually got these for my bullet journal a while ago. I think I got them on Amazon, so I'll link them down below, but they're working pretty good for just putting the, the letters on here to keep my fabric organized because I think that's going to be the key with this quilt because Elizabeth Hartman is no joke on the number of pieces in this quilt and I thought this was going to be the easy one so I'm not even sure what the other ones look like but first Elizabeth Hartman quilt we're already into it we're cutting we're working away so let me show you the fabric that I've got going and we'll keep going here Okay everybody, I got my espresso here and then I've got all of the pieces thus far that I've cut for the light fabric for the armadillo. I've got some other strips over here that I've got to go ahead and sub cut and then we will have gotten all of the light fabric cut and I'll move on to the darker fabric. I also have gone ahead and cut all of the eyes for the armadillos over here so that's where we're at with that. I'm going to keep on cutting and we'll see where we go.
All right, everyone. So as you can see behind me, I have got all of my fabric cut. All of the background pieces are cut and labeled using these little labels like I talked about earlier. I have got all of my purple fabric cut from my armadillo. That's the first one that I'm going to be doing. So hopefully I can do that. I used this giant list to cut it all, um, which was a lot. So now, obviously, I can't share with you guys the sizes or anything like that because if you want that, then you should purchase the fabric, um, or not the fabric, you should purchase this booklet that tells you how to make the quilt both in the large size, small size, and a pillow. Um, it's very detailed, which is amazing, and down to the part of like telling you how to lay out your fabric and cut it. Um, I will say I didn't quite follow every instruction for the border fabric because I felt like there was leftover that I had after I did my strip, my first two strips, and so I just used those strips to then cut down from there. So, you know, obviously you can do that um, as you want to for the background, but for the armadillos, I did exactly as she recommended and that seemed to work well. So I'm ready to jump into getting this quilt going. Let's do it. Okay, so this is kind of what we've got set out to be sort of what the layout's gonna look like. Um, so now I'm gonna work on putting this together. Let's see how it goes. Okay, everyone, so this is where I'm at so far, is this little guy right here. So just the beginning. And um, the hardest part so far has been this little corner right here, which is not exactly correct, but you know, from far away and certainly from, you know, once I get this all done, that's gonna be minuscule, but taking care to line up these pieces and pin those, I think it's gonna be important for the rest of the quilt, so. But I'm super excited, the little face. He's pretty cute. So I just got a little bit more to go. Um, probably done for tonight quilting, but we'll continue quilting in the morning or Thursday whenever I get to it, and uh, we'll just keep going. <laughs> 